Hello, this is Bern, and if you're a single woman who's feeling a sense of shame around the fact that you're single, well, on today's episode, I want to help you transcend this and change it around for good. So stick with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to a space where I share with ambitious, heart centered, driven, and conscious women how you can create. The relationship of your dreams and without gimmicks without manipulation without any crazy stupid techniques as a result of you staying into stepping into your most alive most vibrant and most feminine version of yourself now uh, i i hear from so many women every week of my life that are feeling a deep sense of shame at the fact that they're single and i see it in their eyes and i see it in the way they talk about being single and I see in the way they they think that people judge them or the way that some people judge them actually and it just breaks my heart to pieces to actually know that you can be walking around feeling like there's something wrong with you or you're less than as a human being because you haven't found the right partner and the first thing I'd like to say is that if, if you're feeling this way first I, I get it and I understand how you can understand based on the way the world works and based on media and based on the way uh, everything around you shows you that, that you have to be with someone, you don't have to be with someone. It's a personal choice and there's nothing wrong if you decide to stay single. If you do want to be with someone, you can be with someone. And the, the good news is you can find solutions to being single, but you start from the place that you're not broken, there's nothing wrong with you, and you're not a lesser human being in any way, shape or form because you haven't found the right partner. So if you just understand that, if you understand that no matter what people tell you, that uh, it's bullshit, <laughs> that you can get what you want because it's good for you, but not necessarily because it's gonna make you a better human being or like release you from, uh, from any sense of being less than, then I, I think you're starting from the right place. Because the last thing I want you to do is to watch some of these videos or get some help from me or somebody else and, and get what you want, mainly because you want to feel like you fit in. Uh, that's the worst possible reason to step in a relationship and one that will probably create a lot of pain long term. So there's three different levels of singlehood you could be experiencing right now. I mean, if you understand in principle that there's nothing wrong with you, I want you to get this. There's going to be the state of singlehood where you are single and you say, fuck it, I don't want to be with someone. And you have every right, as I said before, to just stay where you are and not connect with someone. That's one state of being single. There's a different state, which is where you feel like you want it, but you're not doing what you can do to create it. You're kind of saying, let's see what happens. I'm going to wing it. Uh, it should happen naturally. Uh, I shouldn't have to put effort into this, which I think by now you probably start recognizing that if you don't put any real specific effort, it's probably not going to happen at all that you want to. So second one, second, first one is I don't want it. Second step is I want it. I wish I had it. And the third step is I'm committed to getting it. Now, the first two, there's nothing I can do for you if you're in the first two. If you're in the third step where you're saying, I'm committed to doing what I need to do to create the relationship that I want, then that's where the power starts. That's where the beautiful sense of creating the result that you want and stepping into the adventure of love uh, starts feeling fulfilling even before you get it. Because the thing here is, I want you to get a few things and I'll just start, I'll, I'll, five things I want you to get in terms of uh, this single state that you're in right now. Not settling for a guy who is less than you expect is not a flaw. It's a virtue. <laughs> if you're one of those human beings who are saying, you know what, uh, the options that I've seen so far are not the ones that I want and I'm unwilling to settle, or I've settled in the past and I made a promise to myself that I'm not gonna settle in the future, I want you to understand that a lot of people are gonna view being with someone higher up in the hierarchy as being single and being with someone for a long time as being even higher than being with someone for a short time. But this scale is so bullshit and here's why, because you could be with someone for 30 years and it's the wrong person and you're basically afraid and lack of your, your fear and lack of courage prevents you from leaving that human being. But here you are in society size, uh, higher up in the totem pole, just because you just didn't commit to leaving someone that's not good for you. And you could actually connect with someone for a couple of months and it's not the right fit for you, but you create the biggest transformation inside and you have the deepest spiritual awakening and it's what you needed in that moment in time. And that in my mind is potentially better being with the wrong, I mean with the right person, but maybe it's not the right timing for you for a month 
than being for the, with the wrong dude for like 30 years. But, but based on the norms of society, it was a short relationship, so it wasn't good enough. So I need you right now to start eliminating this hierarchy of longer is better and coupled is better than single because it's not true. It really depends on the type of relationship you have and the consciousness you, you experience and the awakening you have with the partner that you're with. But not settling is a virtue, not a flaw. The second thing I want you to do is I need you to understand that this, the experience of getting what you want, if you could put like side, step back a little bit, it's all about enhancing probabilities. Why? Because there's not just one soulmate that's a potential for you. There's multiple soulmates out there. And I, I'll say this a thousand times because a lot of women are going around saying, well, where's, where's my one guy? There might be multiple guys that can be the right fit for you. You'll choose one. I'm not saying choose plenty and just have a uh, polyamorous relationship if that's not what you're into. But I'm saying uh, choose one guy out of many that will be a potential for you. So this whole thing is about enhancing probabilities. How do you enhance probabilities? You enhance probabilities first by understanding, having a clear sense of what you want. Number two, by being a resonant match to that which you want. If you want to level 10 and you're stepping into level two, I've said this in other videos, it ain't gonna happen, right? But if you want somebody who's strong, masculine, he has his shit together, he knows what he wants, he's pursuing you, then show up open, vulnerable, magnetic, connected to your inner fire, attractive that way from the inside out, shining your light from the inside out, then you're enhancing probabilities. How do you enhance probabilities? You create more connections with guys, right? Instead of staying in your house watching Netflix, you put yourself out there and you create connections. If you feel like online could be a possibility for you, you go online and do it the right way. How else do you create probabilities? By saying no to half-ass solutions, like a guy who's just your uh, friend with benefits, who's just really not doing it for you, but just decreasing your level of hunger, then you end it with him. It's hard, it's tough. Your physical sense of connection will suffer, but long-term you're seeding uh, you're, you're seeding the right soil for this to, to actually flourish the way you want to. Uh, third thing I want you to know that can enhance this feeling of being grateful at the fact that you're single right now is that I want you to take this process of embodying and finding, embodying your greatness and finding the guy that you want as a spiritual evolution. What does that mean? That means that if you're only measuring this based on the end result, you're going to miss out on so much of what's beautiful, what's necessary, and what's meaningful about finding a partner, which is who you become as a human being, how your heart opens, how clear you get, how you set boundaries, how you relax into your body, how you let go of excuses, how you learn to be present. There's so many different beautiful and necessary for your human spiritual evolution experiences that you'll have uh, through the process of finding your soulmate that if you just focus on the end result, you're not going to enjoy or witness or appreciate who you're becoming and you're missing the game at that point. The fourth thing I'll say to you is I need you to stop black and whiting it. What does black and whiting it mean? I mean, I, people look at this as black and white, right? I'm doing all this stuff and my guy hasn't arrived, so I'm failing. That's the black and white situation. And I want you to sense like, you could have two women on the same room, both single, one is expressing her light, sharing her magic, connecting with men, enjoying the process, and she's maybe a month away from finding what she wants. And you have another woman who's also single and is not doing anything to make it happen and is closing up and is basically developing beliefs that all guys are bad and all, all just the opposite of what this woman A is doing. Now, both are single, but it's not the same thing. If you black and white it, you're gonna say, well, both are single, so both have failed right, to get the results. But one is on the process of getting it. The other one is nowhere near what she wants. I need you to start understanding that the process that I just spoke about is, is also how you measure this. How much you're growing, how much you're, I mean, how much action you're taking, that's part of what gets it, okay? And the last thing I want you to do is I want you to go on your path. You will have friends who got married at 20 and they're super happy for the rest of their lives. And you'll have people who maybe have children before you do it. And I need you to go back and say, my path is unique to me. If you find your partner at 50 or 60, but it's like the most fulfilling relationship of your life. And it's one that you didn't have to go through two divorces to actually get, then just own, that, own your path. I'm not saying that you have to wait until you're 60, by the way. I'm just saying that wherever you are in your life right now, understand that your path is unique to you. And that the fact that somebody else got it means nothing. 
against, I mean, it doesn't mean that you, you, your train is past the station. It doesn't mean that you won't get it. It just means that you're learning. You can, if you want, if you're at level three of wanting to get this, you can learn the tools to open and to connect and to communicate and to choose better. Okay. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful to you, my dear. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Thing number one is click like <laughs> or subscribe. Uh, uh, thumbs up. I'm sorry. Like or thumbs up to this video. Thing number two is uh, subscribe to my channel. Be part of this movement uh, where I share more ways for you to get what you want. And you can even hit the little bell if you, don't, if you want to be notified of new episodes and not miss out. Third step, most important of all, if you find this is helpful for you, uh, the first link on the description of this video will have a way for you to cre uh, enter your name and email and start watching a masterclass that I created that's going to give you much more in-depth skills and tools than this short video and to how you can get what you want. And last but not least, if you find this is helpful and you're saying, dude, I don't want to wait to watch the videos and maybe try to wing it and maybe get it, maybe not get it. I want to, I want to enhance my chances significantly of getting what I want. And I want your specific help to do it. I've helped thousands of women to get what they want. And if you want my help in doing so, what I'll do is I'll put another link on the description of this video that will allow you to submit an application. I'll read it personally. If I feel I can help you, my assistant will reach out to you and schedule a time for us to connect. And if we hit it off and I feel I can help you, I'll offer you a spot in my program and we can start working together to get what you want. If I don't feel I can help you, then I'll let you know as well. <laughs> Thank you so much, beautiful soul, for connecting with me. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.